guys, welcome back to my channel. It's G from Happiness and Crafting. So we're having a little bit of a scrappy day today. Um, I'm making these little um, sort of booklets, little scrap booklets with some scrap paper. So again, I've been having a little bit of a sort out and I've got lots of bits of paper. Um, so I thought I would try and put them to good use so we can actually use them as something. So what I have been doing, I'm using tape, and I'm using a stapler and I've got this little one and I also have my big one because um, I'm stapling the pages together here um, so I've just popped these together adding bits of paper sticking them in stapling them in and what I'm going to do um, is just go through them with a little bit of gesso now I got my mixed media tomorrow so I might just sort of like go through with a little bit of gesso on them so I can write on them I can use them as little art journals I can use them add it as add-ins into my bigger journals um, and it's just a different way of using up some um, scrap paper by actually sort of like attaching bits to each other and making sort of like bigger pages um, and I'm just loving them I think that it's really nice um, and they're great for little art journals I think I might make these little bits of paper these ones a little bit bigger um, and I've also just got some little scrap ones these are no different these are nothing different um, they're just little sort of like scrap bits of paper um, into a little sort of booklet and I've just stapled them at the top really really simple but these are really nice actually to pop into journals because you can use them as like little rip-offs and if you want to write a little message on there um, they're a good little extra to pop into your journals I think um, and I'm just loving them so let's just add into this one a little bit um, and then I will make a bigger one so let's just get, let's just have a look, let's just stick these. Can you see I'm just adding to the pages. Now I'm going to just staple that little bit there and then I'm going to, let's see if I can go this way. Just staple these on, really, really simple. I don't want it to be too fussy. I just want them stapled on just so that I can... Um, add a little bit of gesso and things like that to them take a little bit of tape let's just go down through here I do like my tape can you tell I've been using it a lot lately let's just pop this one onto there so once I've gessoed over it you won't really see the tape because you'll have some gesso on and then we can stick extra little bits on there so like that so let's pop those to the side now I'm going to make let's have a look let's take some of this what shall we do I'm going to fold this this way like that this is going to be sort of like almost like the spine of it um, and then we're going to take a few little pieces let's take some of this and then just and that could almost be like a whole page couldn't it let me get my ruler what did I do with that so all I'm doing, I'm just going to take that and just rip that little bit off. I'm going to pop that in there. Let's just make a smaller one. And then I can rip that down like that. So these are just folding them up and popping them in. Let's just have this one like that. Oops. This one can go inside this one. So you're just sort of like building up your little booklets, which are lovely. Shall we have this one this way? Maybe I'll have that on the outside. Just tear this little bit off. Like that. Lovely. Okay, so let's take another piece, fold it up. Actually, what I might do is just fold it like this. Put that in there. That can slip in there. Like that. So we're just building up, aren't we? Just building up our um, little journals. Let's stick that on. 
and then all of these little pieces that I'm ripping off I'm going to just pop all together and make little um, snippets snippets little notebooks all these little pieces which are absolutely perfect for notebooks I think that might be do you think it's a bit small not necessarily because we want to build up the pages don't we so let's just put that in there like that well, let's stagger those shall we stagger that so it's sort of at the right height oh gosh pop that on there pop that down like that and pop those on there we go what have we got in the middle we've got that one in the middle should we do something else should we stuck another, stick another one in the middle just like that I think we can rip that bit off perfect so what I'm, actually I quite like the dark of it on the outside so let's stick you in there and that on the outside perfect so now what I'm going to do I'm going to, just going to open that up I'm going to take my bigger stapler like this and I'm just going to pop that in and let's just hope that's in the middle <coughs> just like that I do like my big stapler but I don't really use it as much as I could so look at that that's lovely isn't it so we've got a lovely little booklet there now if I want to make the pages bigger we'll just open this out let's start with these ones here I can take a piece of this and just pop that down there now either either staple it or we can stick it so with a little bit of tape now you can use glue obviously if you wanted to just glue them down but I'm quite liking this sort of grungy sort of look at the moment I'm going to turn that over this is some like craft tape it's really nice because it's sort of like paper tape it doesn't have that plastic coating on the outside um, I've got it in my Amazon storefront so you can take a look there's probably a link under the video so look at that and then what I'm going to do I'm actually going to pop a big staple right there like that now again you can leave them so you've got like a little pocket there so that's good isn't it and then what we can do fold that over and then we just rip this little bit off like that and that can go into our little pile to um, make some little bits with can't it oh look we could pop a little bit of this in couldn't we that's quite nice that could go right there and that would sort of fit wouldn't it should I stick that or staple it I think actually I might just staple that let's make sure it's a little bit level oh that didn't work there we go and then we'll have a little bit of tape just little tiny little bits just like that and then this side that can go up through there like that then you've got this extra little thing again we've got a little pocket there can you see what I'm doing it's so so simple um, just adding bits on that's a little bit too small I think shall we add a little bit of this let's just stick that on let's just turn that down there that down there I think what I might do is just get another bit of tape this is quite a thin piece of paper so this is it's quite nice but it's just easy just I mean this there's just nothing to it there's no sewing or anything like that you just stapling stapling and sticking now you can do this with um, if you don't have this craft tape because this is one you can um, 
paint over or something. You can always use washi tape. Um, there's some beautiful washi tape. I'm not really a washi tape person. Um, I don't really use it a lot. But you can use a washi tape. So there's your extra page there. Let's pop this one in. This is really sort of like a bit of a, a no-brainer one, isn't it? I just wanted to use have something that I can use in my mixed media tomorrow. Um, so I thought I would just make something. I think that might be a little bit. I think that's a little bit. I might actually stick it right on the top. That's what I would do. I would do it this way, I think. Let's pop that in. Let's stick this. Get another little bit more tape. This is nice because it just rips down as well. Make sure that's tucked right in. And then we will just stick that down. Take this whole big piece. Let's see, do you think that, that would work? goes on there like that perfect look at this so simple let's do this side now let's add on to this what should we do should I just use that as one piece or should we make two let's make two what should we do let's add another little piece of this oh no that's right there we don't want that do I have any lined paper let's see what if I oh I do have a little bit of lined paper there this will do won't it not that we need all of that it's going to down there I think I will just add to the bottom. I quite like that little hole there. Let's see. I was sorting out all my um, fabric-y bits and bits of lace. Oops, that's not very good. Bits of lace and stuff. But I've had it in like a little bag so it's gone a bit musty so I do apologise. I'm a little bit sniffy. Um, because it's sort of like it was a little bit smelly in there because I had it tied up not tied up but it was um, done up and it's gone a bit smelly in there so it's in a big pile ready to go into the washing machine tomorrow morning so it can go outside and spend the day in the sunshine nice and clean look at that Put a little bit more tape. Oh, I might actually just pop a little. Will that work? No, that won't work. Let's just tape that little bit there. Tape that together. Loving these. Easy peasy, isn't it? And we got the middle bit. What should we do with that? I might actually just leave that piece. Actually, what I might do is stick this piece together. Let's see. Oh, actually, I might, actually, I might just staple that together. Should we just pop a little staple in there? There. And there. And then, if we want to, we can have a little pocket there. Look at that. That's perfect. So, what should we do with these little bits? Let's fold these over so like that. Make sure they're folded properly. Okay. Oh, I've got a little bit of. What's these? Well, there's white on the back. I don't really want white on the back. Do you think we could fold that? Fold that in half and pop that in. I think we could probably join that onto that page, couldn't we? What do you think? How far out does all oh, this need to come? Now I need to work this way, don't I? Let's pop it onto this page. Just like that, I think. I'm going to stick that 
staple that. Oh, my stapler's not working very well, is it? Oh dear, well we, we won't staple that one. Maybe I should do it like this. Let's have a third time lucky, hey? Let's just see. Let's pop it down this way. There we go. Just needed a bit of a heftier clip, didn't it? Now, what I'm going to do with these, let me just throw that away. I'm going to just, oops. A little bit more tape. Let's go to the bottom. Oops. There we go. Love these. Really nice little um, project, isn't it? I do love lo losing, using up my scraps of paper. Okay, another piece. This piece can go onto there, like that. A little bit of tape. This side, tape this up. So I have something to work in tomorrow for my mixed media. So that will be fun, won't it? Let's pop this. I'll go all the way down. What should we do? I don't really need to go all the way in, do I? I could probably just. Let's put that there. Take this piece of tape and pop that. Oops. Not like that. Pop that in there. Tape that down. It's stuck to my finger. Make a little bit of room on my table. Let's just rip that off yes that's about right and then what I need to do is just tape a little bit down there oops oops no, don't do that don't do that one okay I'm going to take this piece off because we don't want a ripped piece on there really Let's start that bit again, shall we? Okay, how far out? I need to do this so I know where to put it. I might actually go this way. Change it just a little bit. There we go. There we go, that little bit can go into our little scrappy books. All right, let's not rip it this time. Let's pop this on. A little bit more tape. Let's take this, rip that down. lovely and then we've got I'll do the front that piece in a minute but let's just do these two back pieces but I'm loving this scrappy scrappy book put this on should we go right in not quite big enough is it now I'm just going to stick that on there to hold that in place, rip that piece off. Where's the edge? There. Another bit of tape. 
I need to add a few little staples into this though, don't we? Let's just stick that down there. I can take this piece off. So it's a nice thing, it does just come off really easily. Now again, use your um, digital kits as well. Don't just use your papers like this. So if you've got lots of scrap of digital kits, papers, not kits, papers, this. I don't really want to use that because I don't want the white. I suppose it won't matter, will it? I'm going to put that on there then. It doesn't matter with the white because I'm going to be using some gesso to cover it up anyway. We'll not cover it up, but... on there straight so this is the front cover <clears throat> excuse me that can go there oh that looks good doesn't it and then I can just gesso over that as well so there we go front cover done lovely so if we open this up look at all these lovely pages we need a little bit, what's that? Oh no, that's okay. Look at these lovely odd pages. They are fab, aren't they? Just a little bit, that's okay. It's a nice little bit there. Let's put things on. Got that one and then we just need this back page. What have I got? Should we just go for a, a plain bit? did have got some like corrugated here what's that and it's a bit too it's a bit flimsy that one and what shall I use shall I use a little bit of this on the back page shall we have it so it's got the holes at the top I'm going to just tape it because I think Let's just hold that down with a bit of tape. Because I think just for a minute. Okay. Lovely. Let's open that up gently. A little bit of tape. I do have another roll of this tape um, because I have been using it quite a lot lately. I just love this sort of like ripped look. Um, it looks great, doesn't it? Let's just take this little piece off. Put that down another little bit. we go so now I have got this lovely little booklet and again we can go over it with gesso or if you wanted to you could just stick little embellishments in there little fussy cuts you could use them as um, like little ideas books in here as well I just think they're really really lovely Shall I add a little extra just to cover fill in this little hole I think what do we have let's see we must have should I just use a little bit of this let's just fill this little hole in I could actually stick that all the way across couldn't I it wouldn't hurt at all I'll actually stick a bit through there Stick that on there. Oh, I might staple it. That's what I'll do. I'll staple that piece to that piece. I think it's all reaching. That reaching, yeah. 
love it a real odd little book fabulous okay so now i have three and they are just great so they're good for me to do my mixed media in tomorrow i'm going to just sew and add some bits and pieces in that tomorrow so that will be fun now i've got these little bits now i've just cut lots of little torn lots of little bits haven't i so i've got lots of things here to make some little little ones and like i said they're nice to just pop in like this as little extras in journals now should we have that is this sort of like top piece should we just bend that down like that Let's have a little doubly piece that can go on there like this don't want all the same do we that can go on that can go on the back that little piece can go on the front and then what I'm going to do I'm just going to take this piece and pop that on the top and just staple it and that's got some lovely actually you could use it as little texture pieces of paper in there as well couldn't you so that's a nice little booklet Hold this down a little bit. Should we have sort of a funnier shaped one? There we go. A bigger one. Pop that underneath. Take that little bit off. Look at these. Perfect. I think it's too long really is it that can go at the back what else have we got a little bit of this let's just fold that down pop that inside there like that and a little bit this side don't we what have I got what do I have another little random piece there we go that can go at the back there and then I could do with a little bit that goes over the top. I don't really want to use that. What should we use? Oh, here's a little bit of book paper. There we go. Pop that on top and staple that together. Fabulous. Love them. So this is going to go in a little pile. And these are nice little odd bits, aren't they? Just to pop into your journals. Shall we have one with these on? Oh, that might be another sort of top bit. That's quite nice as a little top bit, isn't it? What's this piece? Let's just tear this down. You can have two. A little bit like this you could go on and on and on with these pieces because i'm sure you've probably got lots of little little scrap papers that you can just pop together like this put that on there anything else i can add let's have a look all these little pieces like that's folded over i think i want you at the front let's just move these about a little bit let's pop you on there that can go on there because that's a thicker bit and that can go on the top and then this can go on top of there now there's no inking, there's no nothing, it's just ripped pieces of paper and tape and staples today. Oh, my stapler's not behaving today, is it? Look at that, fabulous, love them. So there we go guys, real messy little plate today. Just adding a few bits to journals and making them nice and messy so what i'm going to do tomorrow i'm just going to go through them with some gesso 
just so that we can um, add a few bits and then we can do a little bit of maybe some um, mixed media on these I think but they're little handy handy little journals like I said you can tuck them into your journals um, as little extras or have them separately um, beautiful love them all right guys well thank you so so much for joining me nice little fun project using up some scraps with some tape and a stapler super simple all right guys thank you so much for joining me please take care stay safe and i will see you soon all right guys bye bye mm -hmm.